Matt Pete here with Transshield. Today we're going to show you how to install your Transshield pontoon cover. The pontoon cover will come in a box and once you pull it out of the box you're going to want to figure out what the front and what the back is. The front of the cover has these buckles on it, these ratchets, and these ratchets pull against each other to draw the perimeter band around. Now that you've located the front, you're simply going to unfold the cover toward the back. I'm going to leave this on the front, set the cover up here in place. You're going to want to be careful when you're unfolding the front to not let these metal ratchets bump up against your aluminum, your, your front walls. It is a little bit easier with two people on this job. Now that you have your cover situated on the boat, it's time to draw it up. So you're going to go to these front ratchets. You're going to have to loosen them because they come already with a, a round or two in them. But you're going to want it free flowing like this, both sides. And then you're just going to want to take out all the extra slack that you have before you start ratcheting. And then you put a couple clicks on each ratchet. Do the same thing on the other side. And since this cover is larger, it's a, it's a foot and a half almost larger than the boat, we're going to have to really work this all the way around to get this to draw up because I've got a lot of extra material in the back. But that's going to be okay once, we've get, once we get this thing situated. Along the side of the boat, there's going to be tie downs on these half circles, and those go in a number of different places. If this boat was sitting on a trailer, I would tie it straight down to the trailer. If this boat was sitting up on some blocks, like some uh, uh, one foot blocks, I would go under the keel side to side to the, to the tie down on the other side. In this case, it's set straight on the ground, so there's enough room between this this trim piece and the deck that I can go up and under there and side to side and that's going to be something that you just have to climb under the boat feed it through a little bit less fun but it's it's very functional so once you tie those into place your cover set the other thing to point out these poles that I put in as I've got the cover set up now you can see that it's it's cr it's creating an, a, a pretty good slant so that you can, you can shed that snow and water and rain. There is still more height left in the cover if you wanted to raise those higher. So that would be a very simple process at this point. You'd just climb back up through the boat, loosen your center line knot, raise all the poles, tighten that knot up again, and you should be good to go. In the back of the boat, where the motor is, there's a number of different options that are going to be available. In this case, this motor is, is somewhat into the, the center of the boat. It's somewhat into the cushions and, and the, in the, the seating. So I had the choice to go over the motor or inside the motor. Uh, it's going to be a personal preference. I like to go inside the motor so that it creates less of a void for raccoons and possums and whatever else is going to critter and crawl up in there. 